What's up everyone, we're back for some more Gundam Evolution gameplay, playing some more Zeta Gundam on Mountain R&D Lab today, and it has been a while since I've uploaded a video, I think around a month, maybe more than a month at this point, it's like a little bit of a hiatus there, and for those of you who are not aware, the reason that hiatus began was because I took a trip to Japan for about two weeks, I made a community post uh, talking about it, but I'm sure not everyone saw that, so... Uh, that was at the end of August going into uh, part of September for that trip. So I had been back for a while now, uh, but unfortunately while I was in Japan, uh, I ended up picking up something that was pretty sick for a couple days. Actually, kind of stunk because I was on this trip and I couldn't really do a whole lot for a few days there. But thankfully, uh, the worst of the symptoms went away after a couple days and then it was mainly just... Uh, an annoying persistent cough after that, but I could go around and still do things for the most part and uh, Fortunately, I still had that cough when I got back So didn't really feel like recording stuff when uh, I did, had potential to be interrupted by coughs all the time I did stream a bit, but uh, even that was I felt a little bit bad because don't really want to have to have people Having to listen to my coughing, but that is fortunately gone now as well as my uh, pretty bad jet lag that I had both going there and going back was not able to sleep much on the airplane. I guess uh, that's just not something I struggle with. Um, but uh, I got over, I think, the jet lag fairly quickly while I was in Japan, or maybe it was just because we were so busy doing stuff I didn't really have time to realize it. But getting back, it affected me for like a full week there or so. But now I'm finally all ready to go, so hopefully we can get back into a somewhat consistent schedule of making videos. But my trip to Japan was really awesome. Uh, we uh, had a pretty ambitious trip. The people I was going with really wanted to see as much as they possibly could in the two weeks we had available to us. So we uh, started off the trip in Tokyo, and then we flew over to the island of Okinawa for a couple days, and then we went to Osaka, then Kyoto, and then back to Tokyo to finish out the trip. So we got to see a good amount of the country, at least in that kind of area, plus Okinawa, while we were there. And uh, it was really awesome. I enjoyed all the stuff we got to see. Uh, maybe would have preferred a slightly more laid-back itinerary because it was a bit tough Especially with me getting sick in the middle of there and maybe actually been contributed to that because I was probably running low On fumes, especially with like I said the jet lag of flying over there um, But it was cool to see everything we saw really good food as well uh, One of the major highlights was going to see the Gundam factory in Yokohama there I got to see the life-size uh, RX-78 Gundam, which was really cool uh, if you ever have a chance to go to Japan, definitely recommend checking that out if it's still there. I think they've talked about, uh, you know, taking it down or changing it or something, but uh, they keep going back on that and keeping it there. And I can see why. It is really cool, so I hope they keep it around. Um, and they did, uh, get, it also gave a uh, free Gunpla kit, I think. Or maybe not free, because we got the, uh, the bonus tickets where you actually get to go up and uh, go onto the scaffolding around the, uh, the Gundam and check it out from there while they do like the show where the Gundam walks out a bit uh, and they, I, they're they playing some I'm not sure if it's reused dialogue but I did recognize Amuro's voice actor talking um, so whether it was reused stuff in anime or they just got the same VAs to record stuff I don't know but it was cool unfortunately couldn't really tell exactly what they were saying I, I do know a little bit of Japanese but they had no subtitles uh, floating through the sky as we were outdoors, so couldn't quite pick up on what exactly was happening. But they also had some uh, some music from uh, the series playing, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, we got our, our, our Gunpla kit with that. I also got uh, a couple other Gunpla stuff while I was there. Uh, there was, uh, we stopped by, there's a few different places they actually have where have they have a bunch of the gacha machines. Um, you know, where you put in the money and then you turn the thing and the little ball comes out with a, a prize, I guess, inside. And uh, they had one which was a, a premium gacha thing with premium it still was like i think like maybe ten dollars uh or i think 1500 yen which depending on uh the conversion rate at the time is probably around 10 ish dollars um and uh th had one for that which was a uh z2r or i guess it was a zaku 2 I, I, I guess i don't know if it was zaku ranged necessarily it didn't have an axe um and it had one for those and you could either get just like the normal one or you could get one that was like clear and I wanted, I wanted the normal one. I think that looked cooler than the clear one. Unfortunately, I got the clear one. But I do still want to build that. That might actually be my first Gunpla I build because it's pretty small. So I imagine it'll be pretty simple. Uh, nice intro, maybe. I don't even think I get to cut anything out or anything like that because it all fit into that uh, that gotcha ball. Uh, and then I also picked up uh, a Gunpla kit for Gun Tank and for Gun Cannon because I'm, I'm currently watching uh, the original series right now. So figured those were some cool ones to get and I was also looking for a gym one 
because I like Jim a lot in Gundam Evo, and uh, I already got my uh, my Arc 78 uh, Gundam one. I actually have two now, I guess, because I got the one from the Gundam factory, and then I also had bought one before I went to Japan. And I haven't built any of those yet, but now I got to the, I guess, four or five if you count the gacha ones. So I've got a lot of gunplay to get through. I really need to find some time to get into that, because I do think they'll look really cool uh, when I finish building them. But uh, the, the, the non-small ones might take me a bit of time, especially as a beginner. But I'm excited to try them out and uh, see what we can do there. Right there, we are finished with round one. Went pretty well, got some big beam-confused kills. We'll have to see how it goes going into round two. Going into round two here, the first point in our favor. Uh, went really well that first round. It definitely helps having this Methus backing me up a lot. That energy cable plus beam confused G maneuver was huge. I can't believe I got three kills off of that. I think that's the most I've gotten off of any beam confuses. Uh, you know, not counting the damage uh, getting after the stunnikers just from the actual G maneuver going off itself. Uh, but it does look like they're starting off a bit better here uh, in the second round. They're in a good position to claim the first point, although I think we're starting to get it back. Uh, but I did want to talk a little bit about going forward. I mentioned that I do want to get back on a somewhat regular video schedule now that I've gotten over my post-Japan uh, sickness and uh, jet lag. But I don't know if I'm going to be going back to doing Gundam Evo videos as regularly as I normally do. I'll still, you know, throw in some more here and there like I'm doing right now, and especially more when Koffer comes out, but, uh, you know, it, it's not something I want to dwell on, but as we all know, the game is going away uh, next month, so we don't have a whole lot of time left with it, and I would kind of like to at least explore making some videos for other games. I've talked about it a few times, and then I've never really done it. I talked about it before, even just uh, in earlier seasons of Gundam wanting to, you know, make some videos for some other stuff, and then I didn't really end up doing all that much of it, but, uh, Right now, I do want to try some other stuff. Uh, Titanfall 2 is probably one of the big ones I'm thinking about. I've been playing a bit of that lately and having some fun with it. Uh, it's had a bit of a resurgence since uh, a, a patch kind of came out of nowhere and fixed that uh, the it's server issues that I guess were making the game unplayable for a while there. Uh, in a, a while, I think multiple years. Basically, can only play it through some third-party client that people had developed, but uh, that's been pretty fun. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, Titanfall 2, Titanfall 2 gameplay, do let me know because that's something I'm kind of planning on right now. So uh, if, if it is something that interests you, I'll probably make uh, some more of those. So keep an eye out for those coming soon. As far as for other stuff, uh, you know, there, I think there are some FPSs that uh, are coming out before the end of the year that I might check out. I did play Armored Core. I played through the just the new game. Uh, I haven't done any of the new game plus or new game plus plus. And I was, like, thinking about making a video for that, but uh, I was a little lost on what exactly I'd do for it. I feel like, you know, based on the type of videos I usually make, these gameplay commentaries, something for the PvP would probably make the most sense. Um, but uh, I only tried it out a little bit so far, and it seems like one of those things that'll take some time to really get the hang of, especially for me, you know, it, it's almost reminiscent of, like, fighting game stuff, especially since I think 1v1 is kind of the most popular way to play. Um, and historically, uh, I have not been too great at fighting games, unless you count Smash Bros, which uh, a lot of people will not. That's the only one that I've really been all that great at, so I don't know if uh, that's really something I'll be able to make videos at, at the level of that I do right now. Um, but maybe I'll give it more of a try. I've only actually played a couple matches of the PvP. It just didn't really, like, grip me as something that I felt like I'd be able to get good at and uh, really kind of excel at in a reasonable amount of time but you know if that's something people want to see you know that's another thing you can let me know about and i might try it uh i did also consider making something for uh you know just like my campaign playthrough i streamed it um so i thought about making kind of like a highlight video of that but uh i don't know it, i was going through editing it a little bit and i wasn't really feeling it that much but it could be something i could reconsider if people do still want to see that because i did say i said when i came back from japan i do armored core videos or something armored core related and uh, so far, I don't really have anything for that, so I do feel a little bit bad, but I was feeling a little bit lost on what to do for that there. Um, so I think I'll start with the Titanfall 2, and then, uh, you know, maybe we'll explore some other things. Man, these beam confuses this game have been going really good thanks to this method backing up. The energy cable plus beam confuse uh, does a lot of damage, especially when you're at that high biosensor. Right here, I'm trying to fly away, and my shield is broken. Um... But yeah, this, this game has been going really good for us. I think we're actually about to win without even having to go to the last point. 
Uh, a, little, a little bit of time left, but it is going to run out there. And there we have it. So even this, this was recorded after coming back from Japan. So even though I was gone for that period of time, it looks like my Gundam skills have still held up pretty well, at least. Good enough to even get the MVP. Although, if we're being honest, I don't think I would have gotten it without the extra help from the Methus there with the good energy cables. But I'm not going to complain. Always happy to have a good Methus teammate. But that is going to be it for this time. You know, happy to hear all of your guys' feedback regarding what I talked about. And also, thank you all for sticking around and supporting, even though I was gone for such a period of time. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing some more Gundam Evo content after that big break. But that is going to be the it for me. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you next time.